marks 20 years since Captain Kimberly Hampton was killed in action while serving in Iraq. Now, Hampton, an upstate native, and today people are paying tribute to her at her memorial in Easley. And that's where we find our own Zach Perlutsky, who's there now with members of Captain Hampton's family. Zach. Well, Justin and Tori, the a crowd starting to gather as we're about to get kind of underway with this program right now here in Easley. And I'm really happy and uh, proud to be joined now by Kimberly's mom, Ann Hampton. Ann, thanks so much for, for taking some time. We are talking a little earlier, thinking about 20 years uh, since your daughter passed away in Iraq. What are the emotions of today been like? And um, just what has kind of the journey been like for you over these last 20 years? 20 years is just seemingly a milestone, but it's like a lifetime ago or last month. I don't miss her any less today than I did 20 years ago. There's this big cold that will never heal, but I am so thrilled that the people of Easley, Pickens County, the upstate, the Army have all been so kind to us and have ensured that Kimberly's legacy stays alive. A, a true American here, I know you describe her as the all-American girl. Just knowing that people in this community continue to carry on and celebrate her legacy even after all of these years. Uh, strangers, and people who knew her, what does that mean to you and your family? It means everything to us. We consider the grounds that we are on now as sacred grounds. I want parents to bring their young children. I want veterans to come and visit and to keep her alive and um, uh, just do everything they can to support the military and our veterans. Well, Ann, I really appreciate you coming coming back up to Easley and, and talking with us. Obviously, a, a very emotional day for you as we're going to kind of listen to a little bit of taps that are going to be played in honor of Captain Kimberly Hampton. Let's take a listen. Uh -huh. 